Zombie Apocalypse. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is Six Scale Economist. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Iron Patriot from Endgame. As always, first we're going to talk about this figure from a uh, collector perspective, and then we're going to talk about it from an investment perspective. Before we get going, um, please remember to like, comment, subscribe if you you know like this content. I've noticed that um, you know about half of the my viewers, according to the YouTube analytics, are subscribers. A half also aren't. So you know, hit that subscribe uh, button. You know, I release videos like multiple times a week, and I um, you know try and keep it relatively consistent. So hopefully, if you like the material, um, you'll be interested in tuning in. Uh, uh, you know going forward and hitting that subscribe button um so jumping into this figure um talking about it first from a collector perspective this figure is a tank there is a lot going on with this figure whether it be accessories you know or overall size the color scheme this is a badass figure um uh damn like when when i saw this figure i was like Wow, this is so unique, and I can't. I, I, I was, you know, I'm not surprised. Like Hot Toys is obviously this is like screen accurate from like after like Thanos like blew up everything in um, Endgame. Like he did have this armor, so like um, this is like you know screen accurate, and uh, so it's just cool to see like Hot Toys like make this figure. Um, you know, obviously like the Iron Patriot looks similar to like, you know we've seen like in the comic books. Like this is. Look at the gun that comes with this figure. This is massive. Like, this is War Machine in what War Machine, like, I think is supposed to look like. Like, I ha I did my review of, like, the Slim Iron, uh, War Machine, which, like, I wasn't, like, a huge fan of. But, like, this figure is very tempting. Um, just, I, I just love, like, the, like, red, basically, like, red, white, and blue, like, kind of theme look for this figure. Um, you can get him in some insane poses. He's basically just a tank. He's just like, this is, like, the definition of what a War Machine would be. Um, and obviously you get like the full head sculpt, which is really cool because I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've actually gotten a full head sculpt of, you know, War Machine, um, Don Gito, like, uh, it is very good. Like that is a sick head sculpt. Even like the hair, uh, you know, like the hits of gray just look fantastic as always. You knew, you knew Hot Toys is going to kill it. Um, taking a look at everything that he comes with, like, so obviously you get like these like rocket arms and like rocket launchers like on his arms, uh. He gets this insane stuff that like, goes on his back. Um, removable chest plate. Um, you know, multiple different hands. The display base, which is better. It's not the hexagon display base, obviously, because this m m monster of a figure would not fit on the hexagon one. But yeah, this one is pretty cool. I like. I'm, I'm, I can't really hate on this display base. I, I like it. Um, but like, he actually doesn't come with like a terribly a ter like a ton of accessories it basically comes with the accessories that you'd really want but i don't really know what else you could ask for i mean it's such a massive figure already on its own like he doesn't need like that many more accessories um but at 469 dollars this is an expensive figure um so let's just like jump right into it looking at it from an investment perspective this one is tough. Um, while I definitely appreciate this figure, and I expect a lot of people to pick up the figure, and I still might pick up this figure, although I'm a little bit on the fence. Um, he's like such a such a great figure, and is totally gonna stand out on your shelf. Like he's massive. You can like pair him with a couple of cool things. But at four hundred and sixty nine dollars, like on an absolute basis, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for not like an absolutely central character. Um, you know, you know, it's not like it's like battle damage Iron Man or battle damage Thanos. Or like cap, like, like this is definitely not a figure that you like need to complete any display. It's kind of like its own thing. Like I would, I would assume like the best display for this would be to display with like Rocket standing on a shoulder, which is so whack that they didn't include Rocket with this with this figure. Like they definitely could have made this a set for five hundred and fifty dollars and given us Rocket without all the accessories that comes with the Rocket solo figure. Just give us Rocket in this figure. Like they're and they're tempting you with uh, which which pose is it? this pose like they're tempting you with this pose like come on i know like rocket is like his own figure i'm sure it costs a lot of money to get the mold and like make that head sculpt for rocket and everything but they really couldn't have just given us a two-pack with both of these figures for 550 dollars. i would have bought it for sure if it was a two-pack with just this and rocket and rocket didn't need to come with like all of its accessories that it comes with on the single figure like just this rocket 550 dollars 570 dollars maybe two-pack and then I would, and then I could get these two and just display and just have them displayed like this. Just, I would have literally just have this on one of my detox. I think that would look fantastic. Um, 
but instead you're basically looking at paying like if you want to recreate this you're basically looking at like after tax and shipping like 700 bucks to to display that that's really expensive like, because this figure on its own is just such an expensive figure i mean i get it it's a massive die cast figure they, it has to be expensive um you know hot toys is a business but at $500 after shipping and tax, maybe $510 after shipping and tax, I don't know if it's a figure that I need to pick up um, to have in my collection. Obviously, you know, like you have to keep your finances in check and you have to keep the budget, you know, tight if you want to you know, do this for the long term. And um, this is a figure that I think in the secondary market, I, I don't think it's going to do like terribly well. It's And that's mainly because it's already starting off at such a high price. Take, for example, Civil War, um, Iron Man, Mark 46. That figure got up to like $650. That is That armor is like the pinnacle Iron Man armor. So that's the armor like everybody wanted in their collection. It also only retailed for $360 when it was initially released. So like if that figure can go from, you know, call it 400 all in after taxes and shipping to 650 all in taxes and shipping, um, that is like a meaningful increase uh, you know, in a figure, but that's an Iron Man, and that's an Iron Man with a fantastic head sculpt, and that's an Iron Man that is the best, what a lot of people say is the best Iron Man armor. So, like, if that figure can only push it to, like, 600, 650, how much can you really expect this figure to go? Maybe, maybe 600, I would think, but I can't imagine that many people wanting to pick up this figure in the secondary market for 600 just because it's not like an absolute necessity figure to have in your collection it is a fantastic figure it's awesome a lot of people are going to pick up this figure i get that but how much demand it's going to have in the secondary market given it's not a one of the ones that's a necessity and really didn't have that much screen time i don't think it's going to cater to as big of an audience as it you know as it needs to 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 be able to like meaningfully outperform in the secondary market I don't think it's gonna go down that much in value or anything. I think like I could see I could see this just like trying to picture in the secondary market maybe being like 450 all in, 470 all in. So maybe you might lose a little. Maybe you might lose like five to ten percent at the most on this figure. But I don't imagine you losing that much money. So I think for this figure, from an investment perspective, like if you're trying to look at it from that from that perspective, I would say just pick it up if you want the figure for your own collection. And like it's probably one that's gonna trend anywhere from. Uh, plus or minus 15% in secondary market would be my, would be my prediction. So like, you're probably not gonna lose that much money if it starts to trend kind of low. And then maybe when it gets more attention, maybe it'll trend kind of up and maybe you'll make like 15%. But either way, you're basically gonna break even. Um, so I would say just pick it up if you want it. Not really one that I'm looking at from an investment perspective. I'm just still deciding if I'm going to pick it up or not. And if I'm going to pick it up, I, I, I think I'll be okay if I lose, you know, 15% of my money if I ever decide that I don't have the room for it. I want to switch up my display and need to sell it or anything. Um, but that's only my opinion. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, you know, are you guys picking up this figure? Do you, do you guys like this figure? Is this, is this the one war machine that you want to have in your collection? Or will you need this al along with a gray war machine, you know, to have it, you know, in both depictions? Um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. This is Six Scale Economist. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.